This is a certified hood classic. Y'all, man, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I've been chilling, laid back. I got the most out of my holiday. I got the most out of this weekend. I, I really chill. Now, we back to work, man. We back to getting it, man. Hey, and today, we're watching some more Family Guy, man. I'm glad to see y'all. I'm glad to see y'all, man. Look, man, we watching some more Family Guy. Good morning. Here's hmm. what normal family would say. Tell us I'll take my breakfast to go. I'm going fishing with the fellas. Hey, Dad, I thought we were going to have some family time this weekend. You going fishing again? Not today, man. Boy, it's not like Quagmire to be this late. Yeah. Okay. Jeez, I've never tried to make conversation with just Joe before. This is brutal. Come on, Joe, you're losing him. Think of something. This hmm. was your shot. What? Bro, just have normal conversation, man. Don't make shit weird, bro. And then here's another thing. Peter got to make conversation as well, bro. If you just sitting there and he just... I'm like, this shit ain't going to work, bro. Hey, Quagmire? You in there? <gasps> Holy crap! Damn. Oh, my God. He must have autoerotically asphyxiated himself. Yeah, while he was watching clown porn. Oh, yeah, baby. What? Oh, we came as soon as he party popped on the bitch. We heard. How is he? <laughs> He's in a coma, Lois. My Damn. God, what the hell happened? He hung yeah, himself bro. during autoerotic asphyxiation. Just goes to show anything can be dangerous. Is his family here? His sister Brenda is coming with her boyfriend, Jeff. Oh, my God. Well, Miss Quagmire, your brother Glenn is lucky to be alive. <laughs> you know, we're all lucky to be alive on such a beautiful day. In fact, nurse, all surgeries are outside today. You know, what? when we were kids, our, our mother used to sing a song when we were sad. Maybe that'll help. You look like you're on drugs, ma'am. Where am I? What happened? Oh, Glenn! Oh, thank God you're hmm. all right! Hey, you touching my girl? Hey, relax, Jeff. What? That's your brother. Yeah, that's how it starts. Come on, Brenda. We gotta get out of here. I need cigarettes and jeans. Uh, let's nah, these... Y your ass too controlling. If you so worry about your girl... Getting taken away like that? Look, one, you're insecure. That's first. Two, she ain't gonna like that. She's still she's definitely gonna fuck off on your ass. And three, bro, go get you a fucking light, bro. You know what I'm saying? Get you a light. And how get you a light. I make a song be with her dinner, ass, huh? Come here. <laughs> what? You fat, ugly bitch. If today wasn't your birthday. Jeff, please, you're being what? What am I being? Crazy? Unemployed? Why don't you call the cops like you did on Christmas? All that unpleasantness with oh, Brenda and Jeff dude. was more than I can Hell handle. Nah. There's no big deal. Niggas Lois. like that We're probably soft just as hell. On an off night. Where do you get off calling me a deadbeat in front of your brother? No, Jeff, all I said was that you were in between jobs. Well, it wouldn't matter if you would just pick up that night shift at the prison. But what? Bro, hell nah. Hell nah. That was my sister. His ass would have got his ass beat, boy. If I were you. Hi, Glenn. What? How are you? Not great, Lois. I'm stuck in the middle of some bad stuff with my sister. I know. It sounded like there was quite a ruckus going on over there last night. That Jeff seems like kind of a monster. Yeah, yeah. that guy's scary as an Iraq lobster. I've tried talking to Brenda about leaving him, but oh, I haven't gotten Lord. anywhere. I was actually hoping you could talk to her, Lois. She might open up more to you, you know, because you're a woman. Me? Yeah, would you mind at least trying? Well, I guess she does need someone to talk to. Well, yeah. let's hope she's good at talking, because we know she doesn't listen so good. That we know. Oh, my Shut God. Shut the fuck up, No, it's bro. really not that bad. Damn! Put a clam on your shit. God, it only hurts when I see. You know, you don't have to stay with a man who treats you that way. Right. Oh, Jeff's sweet. You don't see how soft and gentle he hits me when we're alone. Do you hear yourself? No. He shouldn't be hitting you at all. Right. I don't think you understand how serious a matter that... Close your mouth. It'll be better when he gets back to work. Our relationship is just complicated, that's all. No, Brenda, it's not complicated. Trying to get a straight answer out of a 23-year-old girl is complicated. Joe, the guys are <laughs> They've been with me Thanks. three days now, and all he does is beat her day and night. And on top of that, they say they don't need to Shit, be... Even 25-year-old girls be trying to get a straight answer out their ass be a little complicated, too. ...entertained, but then they're always like, hey, so what are we doing? What's next? Hey, Joe, can't you can't you just arrest the guy? I can't arrest Jeff unless Brenda files a formal complaint with the police. Oh, that sounds great. I bet I would really nah, shine at one of those. He hit her ass. All right, well, first we want to thank you all for being here for Brenda. 
Now, I know it's gonna be a long day, but we're all here because we care about her very much. What the... What's going on? What's all this? I feel like if he likes you, maybe you can change him. Okay, maybe oh. she wasn't the one to start with. Caleb? Right. Caleb, you want to go ahead? M me? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, it's Chris. Y you don't know my name? Brenda. <laughs> All this time, he been thinking it was Caleb. He's on my Caleb. Caleb. He was like, what? Me? My name is Chris, bitch. <laughs> the fact that you are being abused has affected my life in the following ways. The sister that I knew and loved growing up no longer exists. The person I see before me now is just a punching bag. What if she said, and the person I see before me is a bitch? <laughs> because golly, bro, that, that cannot be my sister, bro. I tell y'all that. That would not be my sister, bro. I would not be Glenn, Glenn ass. He could, he could giggity, giggity, giggity. But when somebody giggity in her eye, it, it's a different problem. I, I want the girl I grew up with back. I want... I want my sister back. Then get her back. Brenda, I love you. Please make the right decision. Which is a perfect time for me to tell my jokes. Peter! And I will save them for the end. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Listen here, you bully. For right. your information, Brenda just agreed to leave you. Like hell she did. Brenda, you tell him? No, not yet. Everyone, I have wonderful news. Jeff and I are getting married. <gasps> no. Hell nah, beat his ass. Guys, what the beat hell am I ass. gonna do? She can't marry that bastard. He's just gonna keep beating her, and then he's gonna beat the kid, too. God, I wish she'd never met Jeffrey Fekelman. You know, I was thinking... Wait, what? What? That's his name? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, Quagmire. You know <laughs> I could arrest you just for saying that. You know what else you can get arrested for? Soliciting a rooster. I don't know what this cock -a doodle do thing is, but it sounds gay and it sounds scatological. Okay. I'm in. You're about to have a neat day. Oh no! <laughs> they be having some weird ass little uh little funny moments. You can put it like that. What the hell? Did you change the channel while I was going to get a beer? Oh yeah, I I'm sorry, honey. I just wanted to see who was on Letterman. We're watching Leno, you bitch! I'm so sorry. His soft, gentle humor connects effortlessly with my mainstream sensibilities. <laughs> now, Joe, you can arrest him. You synced it. I don't what is get that you? one. Damn. In his, in, in Quagmire House? Hi there, Jeff. Hey, what's going on, dudes? Brenda just fell. Get your lazy ass up and get my neighbor some beers. Actually, we don't have time, Jeff. We were just about to go on our annual midnight hunting. Okay, okay, who would you rather do? Dame Judy oh Dench God. with 30 minutes of kissing first, or Eddie Izzard in drag, but he has a working vagina? Would Eddie Izzard tell others about it? Ed Why are they even sitting down having a conversation? That means it's like, bro, you y'all done got this man, took him out the city, and yada yada, maybe pass uh Joe's jurisdiction or something like that. I don't fucking know. Y'all done took this man out the city. Fuck all of that. I'd have been like, Joe, go home. Joe, go home. Go home, Joe, and come back in 20 minutes. Problem fucking solved. Eddie is here to like, bro, discreet. tell you. And that's your answer. You know, Quagmire, I gotta say, I was pretty surprised you wanted me to come along. You know, Quagmire, you are pathetic. You have to bring your friends out here with you to do your dirty work? What? Right. What, what do you mean, Jeff? You're gonna kill me, is that it? Now he beating you. Uh-uh. Not unless you want your friend's brains all over the place. Fine. Now here's the plan. I'm taking Quagmire for a little ride. And you guys are gonna stay out here and freeze to death. Now get those hands where I can see them. All the way up. Oh, my shirt's a little too short. That's okay. You can keep them the way you had them so it covers your stomach. Oh, but he's, uh, he's, he's thoughtful. He's a, he's a thoughtful murderer. <laughs> Stupid ass, man. You mean to tell me you hadn't cocked that thing already? Well, Quagmire, sorry it had to end this way. I've been like, put the gun down. Fight me like a man. Hell, <laughs> glass and shit. If you watch, uh, uh, you know, Rush Hour, you you would know. If, if you haven't, I look like an asshole. A tragic hunting accident. I guess that little baby's gonna grow up without an uncle. Suit yourself, man. Just means you you're gonna die slower. 
Damn. That nigga tackled you. Stop trying to wrestle that man. Kick him in the nuts. Kick him in the face. <laughs> Hiya. Chop. Chop. <laughs> Love don't cost a thing reference. Come on, guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get up on your black moves. Don't let him get you. That nigga. Kick him. Kick him. I, I'm sorry, I'm not the nigga to kick niggas in the nuts, but I'm just saying, bro, if it's a life or death situation, you have to cry my guy, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got to cry my guy your way out of shit. I'm saying, bro. Is it that? Okay, would you rather be dead? You know what I'm saying? What the hell? I killed you. I choke myself every day, you bastard. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, wow. What happened? <laughs> did, he get, did he get him? Oh, oh, Glenn, there you are. Jeff didn't come home last night, and he hasn't called. Good. Uh, well, actually, about that, Brenda, he must have left early this morning. Yeah, we found this note he left you. And no one will care because you're garbage. And your baby is going to be a child of garbage. It's a little rough, Peter. I didn't write it, Joe did. I wanted it to sound real. It's gotta sound like he wrote it. Plus, she kinda is garbage, Quagmire. Damn. Well, I best be rolling on now. Oh, come on, who says that? It's an expression. <laughs> <laughs> I best be rolling on. I kinda wanna kill somebody else now. Shut the fuck up, Peter. And what the hell happened? Oh, what? Brian? I'm going to cut my ear off to prevent World War II. Stop! What? Oh, shh. It's okay. It's okay. Do you like my soothing voice? Do you like my soothing voice? Hell no! What the fuck is this demonic shit, bro? Why did this... Why did... No, boy. I'm going to get your tight mouth ass, boy. I'm going to get your... Uh... Blistex commercial ass, and I'm gonna get on your shit, boy. The talking orange mouth ass, boy. I don't like this, bro. I don't like this, bro. I hate this shit, bro. This thing like it should be on Adult Swim.